video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I rehydrate my butterflies and moths in order for them to be pinned. So I'm going to show you what you need real quick. But first you're going to need some butterfly or moth specimens and I got a package of them. So I'll be showing you the package and talking about where I got them from. Then you're going to need a container that your specimens can fit in and that you can put in the fridge. You need paper towels and water and then hydrogen peroxide, which is optional, but I will explain the use of this later on once we get to it. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what I ordered and where I ordered from. Uh, I thought I had filmed this, but my phone is not recording, so one of my butterflies is in the fridge being rehydrated right now, but the other one's in here. I did order two. So, I ordered from Butterfly Utopia. It's a great site to order your specimens from. They sell butterflies. There's also the butterfly company. They have butterflies, moths, um, beetles, cicadas, praying mantises. They do have like some scorpions and spiders and just a bunch of different insects. Uh, they do have a new policy though where you have to spend $35 in order to receive a package at all. I made the mistake, I bought two butterflies that were under $35 and they canceled my order a few days later. So yeah, so I went through Butterfly Utopia, but I really like them. Both sites are ethically sourced. They, you know, get their butterflies from butterfly sanctuaries and they died of, you know, natural causes or whatever, and then they sell them to be pinned. So this is my order from Butterfly Utopia. I got two butterflies. There's only one here right now, of course, because the other is getting rehydrated. So it comes with like, um, your receipt it shows the um names of the butterflies but i'm not even gonna try and say them because they're they're like scientific uh name i would butcher it then it came with like a free little monarch butterfly tattoo and then there's just a bunch of packing peanuts in here and under the packing peanuts there are your butterflies they are wrapped in like triangles of parchment paper. Uh, this is the smaller of the two. The bigger one is being rehydrated. You'll see it later on. And yeah, it, you know, Butterfly Company and Butterfly Utopia are great places or websites, I should say, to order your specimens from. So. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to rehydrate your butterflies. So first you want to start with the container. And I just have some paper towels that I wetted under the water. Temperature doesn't matter because it's going to be in the fridge anyways. Then I take my water and hydrogen peroxide mixture. The hydrogen peroxide will um, help keep your butterflies from molding while they're in the fridge. So really you just take four parts water, one part hydrogen peroxide. I just kind of eyeball it. Then I just mist it in here. Next, I keep the butterfly in its parchment paper just because I don't want to risk it sticking, its wings sticking to the paper towel and ripping off. Then I just take my um, second wet paper towel and I lay that over the butterfly and I just mist it with some more water and hydrogen peroxide. Then you just put the lid back on and you're going to put it in the fridge for about 24 hours until... So this is not my picture, but it is a dead butterfly. You can tell it's not rehydrated, so its limbs are really stiff, so it'd be hard to pin. So the reason we rehydrate butterflies is to relax their muscles and make it easier to pin them. When they come shipped to you, they're dead. They're rock solid, they're crunchy in a way, like their wings... If you touch their wings or try and bend them, they'll break off. So rehydrating them in the fridge will uh, relax their muscles, make it a lot easier to move their limbs and their wings. They will lay a lot nicely. Um, you pin them while they're still kind of wet. Like you take them out of the container and you pin them right away. And then they will dry and they'll become rock solid again and you'll frame them. Um... It takes only about 24 hours. Now, this is for butterflies and moths. If you're doing like a beetle or a cicada or praying mantis or scorpion, whatever, it does take different rehydrating methods. It takes longer, but there's a lot of different ways you can rehydrate butterflies and moths, but this is just my favorite way. Just a warning, 
when you open up the container after the 24 hours or whatever, it will smell. It's not a pleasant smell. It'll go away. Um, it'll just be while the container's open and you're getting the butterfly out of there. But next video that should come out soon, I will show you how to pin them. And yeah, hope to see you guys next time. Just make sure you put your butterflies in the fridge for 24 hours and then pin them the next day.